Part one will be presented by Michael Levine with BRG. It's what to look for in a mobile technology solution. Part two will be presented by UNCC's Ray Danello. Our user spotlight um, is UNCC mobilizes campus for point of activity access to the Archivist Enterprise. Here we'll feature a bonus live demo of the handheld solution. Part three is Archibus Tips and Tricks, presented by Kevin Zimmer with BRG. And finally, we'll end with part four, presented by Mark Kesselschwert, an introduction to Archibus version 20. If you have any questions today, please use the WebEx Q&A feature to log them. We'll attempt to answer all the questions at the, end of this sentence, uh, at the end of this session. If we're running behind or tight on time, we'll respond to each of your questions via email. Here's a brief look at your presenters today. We'll introduce each of them before their respective session, sections, but I'd like to, you all to get an idea of who you'll, who you'll be hearing from. We'd also like to note that today is a special day for one of our BRG team members. Today is Mark's birthday, so we'd like to say happy birthday to him from our team. We'll begin with part one, what to look for in a mobile technology solution. Your presenter today is Michael Levine, he is the Senior Vice President of Strategy and Marketing at BRG. He joined BRG in 1997. He collaborates with the BRG Executive Sales and Operations teams to ensure consistent delivery of quality services. From healthcare and academic settings to high technology and banking or financial institutions, Michael has deployed successful solutions and business process transformations in a variety of industries. We'll pass it over to Michael to begin today's users group. Thank you, Nicole. Um, I wanted to start out with just a brief overview before we cut over to the user spotlight, which is really going to give a more, uh, I think, structured view of what a mobile solution can provide in the Archibus context. But I wanted to provide a little bit of an overview of, I think, some of the drivers and I think the trends within the market, the industry, uh, that we all want to be looking for when we consider how a mobile solution might be able to enable our technology back, uh, back office solution uh, to be more effective. So if some of these uh, drivers here on this slide look familiar, you're not alone. I think we're all faced with a lot of these uh, types of issues or opportunities, as the case may be. We're all facing rising infrastructure costs. Raise your hand if you're dealing with budget restrictions, uh, a rapidly aging slash retiring workforce. Uh, we're all interested in maintaining safe and secure operations. We're all dealing with aging infrastructure. And of course, we're all dealing with regulatory compliance issues. So when we start to look at how mobile technology has interfaced or been involved with the corporate real estate slash FM market, uh, it's obviously not a new target, uh, a new, new topic, I should say. Um, for those of you that have been in the Archibus uh, community for some time, you probably recall that Microview FM was really the pioneers of mobile handheld solutions that were integrated in with the Archibus environment. And that happened back in the, the mid to late 90s, if memory serves. And it's interesting, interesting enough that many users are still very effectively using those solutions today. Um, I think going back historically, handheld technology was not really widespread uh, in the CRE FM organization for a lot of reasons, some of those being devices were, were typically expensive. It would cost you several thousand dollars to get a handheld device with a barcode scanner. Uh, those technology solutions in the uh, you know, historical days were often limited either as batch type uh, solutions where you would do all of your work offline and then drop your unit into a cradle and synchronize, or even when you had a wireless solution, there was often no offline capability to uh, synchronize and provide, I think, what is turning into the real benefit of, of a uh, enterprise mobile solution nowadays. And I think we're all sort of experiencing the revolution, the evolution of, of kind of the mobile devices uh, individually. Um, Raise your hand on the phone if you are using a, a smartphone, you know, an, an Apple iPhone, an iPad, uh, the Google Android devices, Blackberries, et cetera, are really becoming ubiquitous within not only the, the business context, but also within the, the personal consumer context. Um, we're seeing, in our experience working with our customers, many organizations starting to leverage things like tablets, iPads. Uh, where executive dashboards and even live access to web-based ERP systems is uh, being delivered through solutions like that. And I think as this, uh, I guess, change in mindset or philosophy changes around mobile solutions, we're seeing, I think, the evolution also of the expectations of what users are looking for 
in solutions. They wanted to leverage the cloud, uh, you know, applications that are perhaps software as a service hosted, et cetera. They want to be able to see, you know, rich graphical content, GPS maps, forms. They want to enable workflows and have, of course, 100% availability through a wireless uh, inter internet-based format. So in our experience, again, working with many, many different uh, customers, some of the trending uses for mobile technology that we're experiencing in our work look like this. Uh, I think historically, going back, maintenance and operations has always been one of the, you know, the critical, highly effective you know, areas where you can realize a pretty easy return on your investment in a mobile solution. And that involves different use cases such as you know, doing work orders and maintenance activities in the field, which is typically where your work, your point of activity is going to be. Uh, and so those types of scenarios involve receiving your work orders, so the whole dispatch process, updating of parts, labor, consumables, et cetera, uh, completing your work orders, and even in the, in the case of when you've got resources out in the field, the ability to create work orders uh, at the point of activity or inspection. Uh, inspections where you're maybe leveraging things like barcodes to be able to, uh, you know, scan the piece of equipment and identify, uh, you know, a typical customized questionnaire that you want to uh, perform an inspection against that. Preventative maintenance, of course, ties into the larger maintenance program, but certainly is enabled in the same ways uh, as the work orders that we've already discussed. Other emerging use cases under maintenance are, are activities like housekeeping. Ray DeMello from UNC is going to show a very, or discuss at least, a very interesting use case around recycling management that uh, he is using in his, uh, his mobile solution. Asset management and space management, of course, fall right into that, uh, that I think, emerging trend. Asset management being, you know, obviously the ability to work at the point of activity where your assets are located, loading docks, warehouses, et cetera. And then space management seems to really be, I think, one of the areas that's starting to emerge as we gain more real estate on something like an iPad screen where we're going to start to perhaps do you know, commissioning activities, look at occupancy, maybe review uh, online drawings uh, as a part of our overall mobile strategy. Okay, now we're going to open polling question number one. Um, at what level do you and your organization utilize mobile solutions? Please select any that apply. We'll leave it open for about a minute, and then we'll um, release all the information that we receive in a follow-up email to everyone. So um, your options are A, mobile solutions scare me, um, B, mobile solution, or, uh, B, mobile solutions scare my company, C, I make personal use of smartphones, D, my company provides a device to me to perform um, some, some of the jobs that are necessary, job basics. E, my company uses mobile devices um, right now. And then, um, of course, my company has an Archibus internal mobile solution. And I'm going to close the poll now. And again, pick, pick all that apply. <laughs> <laughs> 